What is up, Omosh Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome and are ready for a massive sub. <laughs> we have so many members today and a bunch of companies from all over the place. We have, for the Omosh Nation members, Emmanuel, Jose, Bill, Ryan, Jonathan, and Vidal. And then the tiers and the companies in today's video, we have a Beckett standard sub, which was sent off on March 16th, so super speedy. We have a 60 day sub, <laughs> two of them actually, that were sent off on December 16th of 2020. That one must have gotten lost in their storage or something. And then January 1st of 2021, insane how long those have been at Beckett. Um, and then we have a CGC bulk sub from March 16th and an economy one from March 16th as well. So very fast, especially for a bulk sub with no subgrades. I did forget to mention that. But we got a banger of a video today. Tons of cool cards. And I'm excited to show them off for you. Thank you for trusting me with your cards. If you want to get your cards graded, head over to omosh.com and you can do everything over there on the website. Makes it so much easier for me and you. <laughs> so you guys know the deal. Let's get everything unboxed and enjoy the reveal. Oh, guys, we did it. We finally did it. I premature, I opened the very first box and look what I saw. Gold label, which is good, but it's impossible not to see. I had to record instantly before unboxing everything else. We got our first black label. Holy smokes. We're just gonna have to check it, check it out. First, we'll start with this one. <laughs> I'm freaking out. First black label of the channel. It's been two years, and this is our very first one. But the first card for this is 9.5 Charizard V, beautiful card. Just look at the sparkle and oh man, I'm sorry Charizard V, you're not gonna get much love because we have a black label in the house. Look at that, that just looks so good already and we don't even know what card it is. Here we go, first black label on the channel and then we'll get to unboxing the rest of the stuff. <laughs> but I had to just do this. Instantly, because I I was freaking out the second I saw it. We have, boom! Oh man, that is so sick! First black label, of course it has to be a Charizard. Just look at that bad boy, Charizard V Max Rainbow from Champions Path, and you got the perfect. 10 black label look at that that it just makes it look so much cooler i'm telling you cgc for your perfect 10s you have to do something with your label it will just do so much more for the collector but wow that looks so sick congratulations black label charizard v max first black label uh, of the channel. We made history today. This is just going to stay right there. <laughs> so sick. And now it's actually time to unbox <laughs> the rest of the cards. All right, guys, and just like that, we are actually back with mountains of cards in front of us. Ton of CGC, ton of Beckett, and I'm not gonna spoil it if we did get another black label or anything. <laughs> but we're gonna start off with this CGC uh, slab right here, starting left to right. As you can see, typical box dust from CGC. Boom. Starting off 9.5 for the gold water energy. Now I actually really like the look of these. I need to get myself the new electric energy um, for my little electric sanctuary or whatever. It's right over there. <laughs> Next up, boom. Melanie 8.5, no subs, beautiful cards. And I'm just so glad guys that I actually finally took out this dumb little light that's right next to me, bam. Eight for the gold Charizard V, uh, Reshiram and Charizard GX, sick card. The light just makes everything look so much better, especially the cards, so I'm sorry I didn't uh, take it out sooner. It was, it's been sitting in storage for like two Christmases. Bam. Pikachu, hollow, look at this little Lego movie exp exclusive. Very nice. <laughs> all, all the different labels and all the different cards, it just kind of blows my mind. Boom. Another one, we got nine as well. Let's see if we got any more of those Pikachus. Boom. Nines all around for the Pikachu squad. Next up, bam. 
Another nine, <laughs> can't get past that nine, and boom. Nine for the Umbreon VMAX, beautiful, evolving skies, a lot of people's favorite set. Next, boom. 8.5 for this one, uh, maybe not of all time, but it's definitely their most uh, favorite modern set. Japanese, bam. Pristine 10, we're killing it with the 10s. Japanese style of Umbreon VMAX, beautiful card. And really, I do like the gold, don't get me wrong. I do like it, but if they just did something a little cooler, CGC would have so many more people hunting their 10s. And I think they could really do it. MetaZoo is up. Boom. Pin Club Mothman. Check out the hollow on this guy. MetaZoo has some awesome foiling, and we got a 9.5. If I remember right, I believe all of these MetaZoo cards are the same. 9.5 once again. Boom. 9.5. <laughs> good old, good quality with MetaZoo. Boom. This one got a 9. Cool card. Uh, if you're not familiar with MetaZoo, Mothman is kind of like the Charizard of MetaZoo. Boom. Another nine, um, this is not an actual set Mothman from Krypton Nation or Nightfall, but it is a promo. Pin Club promo, you can see the badge right there. Beautiful, tons of uh, Mothman. <laughs> I didn't even recognize that or realize they were that there were this many. All of them, all nine and above, very nice. We'll start off with this smaller Beckett sub right here. We got silver label, eight or 8.5, boom. We got a or 8.5 or 9, sorry, I'm thinking of MNT, Charizard EX from Evolutions, and we do have a gold label for you right here. We have, boom, 10 for the Charizard V. Very nice, we'll take that. Beautiful, shiny boy. Congrats on that, and really, I just keep looking at this Charizard black label uh, right in the back. It's too cool. If you can't see it, I'll... I'll put it more over here. Right smack dab in the center. History has been made. More CGC, boom. Yes, alt arts. We got Golurk V, service got an eight, so that's what brought this down, but I love this alt art. It reminds me of Castle in the Sky, one of the classic and best Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, however you wanna say it, movies, and it's just so good. Boom. Duraludon V, eating some curry. Man, I'm hungry, I need to eat some Japanese food. I love Japanese food. I mean, I'm Asian. Bam. Charizard VMAX, and we got the nine with a bunch of CGC box dust. <laughs> it's really the worst, but beautiful card. The first Charizard, or Gigantamax Charizard of its kind from Darkness Ablaze. Boom. 8.5 for this one. Really, these are looking crispy. Maybe I just haven't seen a normal Charizard VMAX in a long time. I'm used to the shiny or the rainbow. <laughs> But this normal orange one's looking real nice right now for some reason. Mint nine, very nice. Next, boom. Another one, and <laughs> more nines, we'll take it. Can we get some more tens? Bam. Nope, 8.5. And really, I, I'm just liking that orange right now for some reason, I'm liking it. Japanese card, boom. Oh, sick. Character rare, 9.5 Charizard with the Leon. Really, this artwork makes Charizard look tiny. He's sitting on a couch. <laughs> it's like a baby uh, Charizard. Next up, boom. Lugia GX, love the artwork here. He's spinning up some sort of beam, just like uh, Dragon Ball Z. Next, boom. Oh, even better. More beat up for this guy, but we got a uh, Lugia EX full art. That is a sick card. Love the artwork, absolutely beautiful, and love the texture as well. I wonder what happened with the surface. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a little more played, and it's just a beautiful card, but yeah. Six, not the best grade there. Next up, boom. Mothman, second edition, you can see the stamp there, and this is from Cryptid Nation, one of the first Mothman artworks, classic. This one is just a normal reverse, but very cool, 9.5, we'll take it. Dragon Ball next in the house. This might be, is this our first Dragon Ball return from CGC? It might be, boom. Pristine 10 for the Bulma Bunny Girl just past Easter. <laughs> this would have been perfect like last weekend, but very nice Bulma waifu status, especially in that suit. I think the rest of these, boom, are Bulma Bunny Girls. <laughs> we got a nine, love the hearts in the background of this card. Imagine if this was a special rare with some texture, 
insane. Boom, 9.5, another one. Can't get enough Bunny Girl, right? <laughs> Two more, boom. Oh, this one's a special rare, King Vegeta's Imposing Presence. Very nice, I do like the gold foiling uh, on the special rares, beautiful card. And I think it looks really good in this slab, if I'm being honest. I do know, I think it's Null Collector on Instagram. He has switched to CGC completely for his Dragon Ball grading. Boom. And a very nice Galactic Buster Super Saiyan Trunks art with Bojack, right? Is that who's... Uh, I always get my characters mixed up. <laughs> very nice CGC sub. And we will do this Beckett pile right here. Gold label. Boom. Charmeleon from Hidden Fates, 9.5. Beautiful. I can never complain about Hidden Fates. I love it. Does that mean this is one of the Charmanders or Charizards? Boom. Charmander, 9.5. Look at that goodness right there. Beautiful with the gold labels. I just love the gold labels, if I'm being honest. Gold. Another one. We're doing well with the golds. Boom. Normal Charizard GX from Hidden Fates, and we got 9.5. Very nice. Going strong with the Hidden Fates gold labels. We have, boom. Evolutions Reverse 9.5. That's a little more crazy. Just because Evolutions sometimes is impossible to grade high. And then we got our first silver. The next two are silvers. Hopefully they aren't the bigger dogs. Oh, they are. 8.5 for the Normal Hollow. Still beautiful card, but yeah, the Normal Hollow has so many print lines that it's basically impossible to get that 10. That's why it's so expensive. Last Beckett card of today. We're gonna check out that Black Label once again. Don't you worry. Boom. Rainbow Charizard. This one got the nine. Oh man, if only it matched its brother over there with another 10. So cool. Very nice sub, very nice Charizards. We'll take it. And now we have some more CGC and this is a tall tower. I think some of my cards are in this one. Boom. Special delivery Bidoof. <laughs> the meme card. And I think I'm, I see us. Potential swirl right there. I just can't get the lighting or the angle right. Something's going on there. Beautiful card though. <laughs> Gotta love the Bidoofery. Next up, boom. Mew V alternate art, sick card. Just floating around through the parade of Pokemon. Very nice. Oh, I was so hyped when I pulled my Mew V. It was just so good. Boom. And we got the babies from Tag Team GX All-Star. Beautiful card, 9.5, the happy babies. Um, I remember that Fusion Strike box was ridiculous. I pulled both the V Mew Altar and the VMAX Altar in the same box. Boom. Mewtwo and Mew GX Alt Art promo. This card is just too good. <laughs> I love the artwork. I'll never get sick of seeing it. Next we have, bam. Oh, this one's a cool card. We have the Alkazam EX Secret Rare from Fates Collide with the Umbreon and Lugia in the background. This card is just too sick and you can't beat that texture too. Insane, absolutely beautiful. Tons of people really love that card. <laughs> Next up, boom. Rainbow Rayquaza VMAX, beautiful. Love the Rayquazas that have been coming out recently. Um, and it's actually sad, I don't own any of them. <laughs> I need to get some in my collection sometime. Boom. Tornadus V Alt Art, I do have this one myself. Beautiful card. Tornadus isn't my you know favorite Pokemon in the world, but you can't hate on the art right there. Bam. Oh, another pristine 10. We have the Umbreon VMAX from Trainer Gallery. Look at that art. Man, so cool. How's a Gigantamax uh, Umbreon just chilling in a city? That's my question. <laughs> but beautiful, another 10. Remember, if you get a perfect 10, you will get free subgrades. But if it's just a pristine, you will not. Boom. Blaziken VMAX Alt Art. So very nice, <laughs> fighting the Inteleon squad, so cool. Very nice artwork and I do enjoy the uh, texture and sparkle of that card. Next, 
Boom. Mew VMAX Rainbow 9.5. Beautiful, just, ugh, you can't go wrong with the modern rainbows, I'm telling you. I know a couple videos ago, I said that I'm not my, the biggest fan of the rainbows. Like, I, I, I would be perfectly happy if they got rid of them, but they're cool. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Celebrations Mew EX 8.5. The sparkle just goes crazy in this CGC slab. Very nice. Next we have, Boom. Oh, 7.5 for the Pikachu. This guy came out beat up. I'm pretty sure every single one of mine had a flaw in it. <laughs> Bam. More Celebrations. Reshiram this time. Celebrations was such a sweet set. I mean, I still have so many ETBs that I'm probably just going to keep sealed forever. Boom. There's the Reshiram. And matching 9.5. Beautiful look right there, the white and black, very nice. Yeah, who knows if Celebrations will be really sought after here in the future, but I had a blast opening it, and I enjoy going through my complete binder. And the cards are just sweet. I enjoy them all. Except freaking Clay Doll. <laughs> Boom, there is the Venusaur, so awesome. Beautiful 9.5. Again, some real nice high grades with these Celebration cards. Boom, yep. Right as I say that, of course we don't. <laughs> 8.5 for the Blastoise. Uh, the hollow is just so big. <laughs> I mean, that was the point. They just get your attention. Boom. Pikachu, 9.5, very nice. We'll take it. I was expecting the Charizard, but guess not. Bam. Another Pikachu, we'll take it. Birthdays, Pikachu. <laughs> I did write my name and birth date on my binder card. Bam. Yes, my favorite one. Umbreon Gold Star, oh man, the artwork of that card, you just can't beat it, you can't. Next, boom, yes, there's the gold Mew, so much Mew love today, and I'm digging it 100%, such a very nice card, love the gold Mew look right there. Next up, boom, more Bidooferies, we have a special delivery, 9.5 in that hollow, the Cosmos. So cool. <laughs> Next up, we have, bam. There's a Charizard, 9.5. Beautiful, we'll never get sick of that artwork right there. Literally impossible to get sick of that artwork. Japanese card, boom. Oh, sick, we have a very nice Sylveon V full art. That card just pops right now. Eevee Heroes, such a fun set. Next up, maybe we're starting to get into mine, bam. Nope, we are not. Rainbow Copycat, copying all the big dogs in the Galar region. <laughs> I do enjoy that card actually quite a bit. Next, bam. There we go, fire in the house. Really, the sparkle of these golds are just so sick. Good job, Pokemon. I'm a fan of whatever you're doing. I am curious to know what the next generation of hollows and stuff are gonna look like because we are coming up to that. Boom. Metacham V Alt Art. So awesome. So many Pokemon up there on the top looking at Metacham Train. <laughs> Beautiful card, 8.5. Next up we have, boom. More Alt Arts, very nice. Single Strike Urshfu, Flifting that boulder, such a sweet artwork. Can't go wrong with Alt Arts ever. I'm excited to see what the future Alt Arts are, bam. Another Golurk. We will take it. I just love looking at this card. Seriously, it's the robot of Laputa. Just so awesome. Next, we're almost done here. A few slabs left. Boom. Oh, Calyrex Ice Rider. So sweet. Yeah. Alt arts just look so good. You cannot even argue. I will take as many alt arts as we can get forever. Boom. Yes, the best one, Dragonite V. I still need this one in my collection too. Oh man, look how much bigger Dragonite is to Firo. <laughs> Pretty crazy. And next up, boom, there we go. Feasting Buffet Tyranitar, the one of the first like big hype alt art cards from what I remember when that one leaked, everyone was going crazy about it. Boom, yes. This one's so good. I love Celebi. Floating around in the Arctic Tundra, so nice, but with her magical powers, bringing life to the frozenness. Japanese card, Bamo. Oh, 
Beautiful 9.5 Flareon, chilling at his house, lighting up the fire for the folks. So good, love that artwork. Man, even though these are modern cards, guys, a lot of people hate on modern, I'm enjoying this sub. Boom. Yes, more. Leafeon in the leaves, beautiful. You just, the artwork's like unmatched. You can't beat it. Obviously, nostalgia is hard to beat with the uh, vintage sets, but modern Pokemon is killing it. Bam. Two of them, and this one got the 9.5. Very nice. Good little upgrade for you there. Next, we have, boom. Oh, ending off Pokemon with another pristine 10, and it's the Leafeon VMAX. <laughs> Helping out the farmers. So awesome. Pristine 10. Congratulations. And look, guys, this one might be one of our first Digimon returns as well. I th This one is mine for sure. I think the rest of these cards are. Boom. <laughs> alternate art promo we got two of the babies eating some food I just like the artwork there 9.5 I will take it I might send off all of my Digimon cards to be a, uh, in a CGC slab but I have not decided that for sure boom yes there we go this one's the blue memory eating some snow cones and ice cream <laughs> and he's got his brain freeze very sweet looking card next we have boom Oh, nine for the War Greymon, but that card just looks awesome in this slab. It just pops. So vibrant, so nice, and War Greymon is obviously the best. <laughs> so awesome. I need to send off the rest of these and just have my nice little collection of these guys. It looks like, though, that Digimon grades pretty harsh with CGC, which I did want to see. Look guys, yeah, I threw in some magic cards, but you will know why. Take a look, boom. 8.5, but this is the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty artwork, and just look at this vintage classic Japanese artwork as their mana cards. Are you kidding me? I had to get every single one of them. These are all of the non-foil ones. I do have foil ones as well. Um, they will probably be going to PSA so I can have both, but the artwork's just so good. So excited to have every single one of these. Check out this next one. Boom. Oh man, 9.5. And just look at that. Deep in a forest, a little Japanese village. So good. The artwork blew me away. I don't pay attention to magic at all. But luckily, I have very cool friends on Instagram <laughs> that do. And the second I saw this, I was like, okay, tell me what these are. I'm gonna buy them instantly. Boom, classic, so good, big old waterfall. Oh man, we even have some crazy looking frog thing right here. Just so Japanese, so Asian, and I had to have them. Next, bam, 8.5 for the uh, other water one. Look at these little crane, uh, what's it called, origami? 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 <laughs> I don't even know my Japanese words, but so good. Uh, I do enjoy these non-hollows actually quite a bit. The hollow kind of takes away from the art. Bam. Oh my gosh. Fire with the dragon flying up high in the mountaintops. Are you kidding me? Yeah, these these artworks are too good and I can't. I'm so excited to have these in my collection. Bam. Yes, snowy village, but still fiery. A little mining town. So good, guys. Wow. Wow. And they're grading pretty decent. Magic cards came out pretty rough. When I got these in the mail, I was like, ooh, these don't feel that good. <laughs> Boom. Very nice plane right here. Rice fields of Japan. Just beautiful. Such a cool artwork. So very nice. A few cards left. Boom. Another plane, and this one is some crazy, like, Emperor's Palace. I just love it so much. You can't beat it. Can't beat the artwork. It's too good. Next, boom. Swamps. Nighttime swampy waters. So awesome. Just beautiful. So glad that I have all these in my collection. And the last card of today is, boom. The last swamp. Very sweet card. Oh, I'm happy with all of those. And of course, we have to give our dues to the 
Black Label Charizard. One last time, first Black Label on the channel. Hopefully we can get more. Absolute banger card. Congratulations for that. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for using my middleman service. You're all awesome. I can't wait to help out more of you guys, and I hope you're excited to see more. <laughs> I hope you have the best rest of the day, and I will catch you next time.